Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? How you guys doing today? We're doing Rank the 1v1, and I am... Oh, my left headphone's not working. Hello? Ah, now it's working. Pog. Yeah, now it's working. Lovely. All right, we're going to go Apollo. And we're... Actually, is there anyone that gets, like, better crits? Like, Hoi has something to do with crit chance, but I think he's... He's that he can't be crit multiple times. What about... Nobody has built-in crit chance anymore, do they? No hunters do, at least. All right, let's just play Apollo. Ooh, Abubis. All right, all right. The lifesteal changes to Abubis might make this a little bit difficult, but we're going to be doing the crit build. You heard it right, dude. You know how I said uh, in that first video of Season 11 that... Crit is super meta and hunters are super OP and it's ridiculously overpowered and everyone hates it, but it, they can't change it because of how OP it is. Well, fun fact, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> it's actually dummy OP because of devoted Deathbringer. Your critical strike chance is multiplied by 1.3 for each 5% crit chance you have over 100% crit chance, you gain 100 physical power. So... You build as much crit chance as possible. It is then multiplied by 1.3 times. So if you have 100%, now you have 130%. And then any 5% over 100% you have gains 10 physical power. So it's like Silver Branch, but for crit chance. Um, now, unfortunately, this I'm going to have to start like a dweeb right. still with... Uh, with Griffin Wing because I need clear and, you know, crit items are outrageously expensive so we're not gonna just like go right into it i probably should have gone red buff come to think of it but it's all right he's not gonna go red buff either so if you're wondering what those little numbers were uh the what are they the recipes got changed and reworked in a weird way the top three recipes that everybody was buying are now in the form of shards and those shards are basically golden gooseberries, sturdy stew, um, and there's one other one that I can't remember the name of. But basically like this, you just get a shard that is like a crappy golden gooseberries and you just get it for free for the entire duration of the game. Okay. That was his relic. And we got his relic. While also being higher HP than him. And trading relic slots. What's your cooldown on that? 140. I mean, it's a little shorter than mine. Not that it matters much. Not that it matters much. So yeah, there are no more recipes for you to buy outright. And instead, the whole passive like promotion thing of recipes is in um relics so as you can see here i have this little thing right here getting kills or assists on minions levels up my relic for me i don't actually need to pay to upgrade my relic anymore it will automatically upgrade over some kills over over a, the course of the game just by killing minions or gods and stacking items have also changed completely it's just insane how much they're changing in smite season 11 and what's even crazier is that they're changing these things in smite season 11 and they have smite 2 i would say around the corner but it'll probably take about a year um but they got smite 2 in a year probably somewhere around there that's gonna change things up even more so i'm super excited high res is doing like i was really nervous about this world because i was like i'll be honest with you guys like if if they don't come up with something very new and very different, we're going to have an issue. That's one of the new wards, by the way. It's a Raven ward. It shoots out 500 meters or 500 units. I think it goes from like here to like my tower line probably is about 500 units. Maybe a bit further. But it's, uh, it's a very far range. And it just reveals things in that range. For the duration, I think it's five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. I can read it to you so I don't lie to you. 
It doesn't respect line of sight. Uh, it doesn't say how long, but basically, look, I'll buy it and I'll send it that way. You can see it flying on the mini map here. I just want to see how far it will go. Uh, all right. So, yeah, it was it was about as far as I thought. It was pretty much exactly as far as I thought. So from one person's fountain to the other person's tier one tower is the distance it travels. But yeah, so anyways, what back what I was saying, stacking items are completely changed. And what I mean by that is you don't actually need to last hit anymore to get stacks on them. All you need to do is... Uh, All right, he will get the scepter here. Okay, though. Oh, it is not okay at all. It is not okay at all. Bancroft's OP. But what you do, or, or how you stack now, I should say, is in this really weird spot where it's damage dealt, uh, multiplied by two if you're attacking a god nice so damage dealt to minions counts as normal damage dealt and then damage dealt to gods count as twice as much damage dealt and your item evolves uh, like let's say about devil gloves after <clears throat> after I think it's 15,000 damage total so you you don't need to like focus really hard on getting those last hits you literally just need to do damage now what I'm gonna do is buy this new item that I believe is very very strong it's called crimson claws gives you 20% attack speed 50 physical power which is insanely high and it's it's pretty cheap item too it's 2400 gold <clears throat> and it gives you a bit of lifesteal, but the lifesteal you get is uh, is seen as a shield. Oh. oh, okay. I didn't get it. Oh, God. Anubis lifesteal, dude. Anubis lifesteal with the new lifesteal changes. Insane. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Nope, I'm fine. Well, I could kill him here. So yeah, I said in the last video about what the lifesteal changes were, but I, you know, I've mentioned it so many times about new lifesteal in this video by itself that I feel like I... Oh, okay. Okay. But I feel like I have to mention it again. And basically, the new lifesteal system is you lifesteal like dog shit off of minions. But you lifesteal very heavily off of gods. So, on characters like Anubis, in this case, or in this scenario. Uh, <clears throat> their lifesteal is outlandishly strong. Yep, that hurts. I'm just going to get the minis. And I'll leave you to it. Actually, you might die. You're kind of low. And you don't heal much off wave. So maybe I just like go aggro as fuck here. Like he life steals a little bit off wave, but not nearly as much as old Anubis. Nice. I got the scepter. I don't really mind just like taking damage like this because my life deal is strong. Obviously his is just as good, but like that's the thing too, right? Like he's he's kind of playing. He's kind of playing like he can life steal off wave. And technically you do, but it's so bad you really don't. 
So running that direction is kind of a mistake. <clears throat> it's kind of a mistake. I'm going to go Aegis here. Uh, there's Aegis. And yeah, I'm just going to go Rage because I want to start stacking that crit chance as fast as I can, you know? Because the more crit chance you have, the better it is. All right. I almost have my uh, my beads upgraded to tier two. It's 150 minion assists, like kills or assists. This is the end for you. I missed everything. I suck. I stink. Nice. One more rage stack. Lovely. I guess I can just take this. We're 25 stacks away from upgraded beads. Oh, I have dual orb. I guess I should take this as well. Ow. No. Alright, I should not have beads that, but it's okay. Sounds good by me. Sounds good by me. Alt the meteor. This is my meteor. I want the XP and the gold, please. I think the meteor's mechanics are the same as the uh, the bladed boomerang. It drops somewhere between you and the target you're hitting, which in this case is you and the meteor. So it always drops somewhere between you and the meteor, kind of close to you, but not directly in front of you, you know? All right, so our, our crit chance is what? 20% plus, I got one stack on that. Oh, I can just hover, right? I can just hover this? Yeah, 57%, perfect. Don't need to think about it. You're doing blue. I'm okay with that. I really want red buff. Because who doesn't love damage? My beads got upgraded, by the way. Love to see it. <clears throat> Alright, he's a little scaredy baby. Nice. I think next item we go is probably... I mean, I could go just devoted Deathbringer because I think with these three items, I have over over crit cap already. Once I get devoted, that is. Jesus, dude. My damage is insane. Can you see how much lifesteal he's getting, though? Like, just off that one interaction with, where he was ulting me, like, you could see his lifesteal from, like, these two items. I was hitting him consistently for over 200 damage. And he was lifestealing for a, for a second there, dude. For a second. I need 3,500 gold in order to get devoted Deathbringer. Fine by me. You've got no ult. Uh, all right, let's go to blue buff here. Let's farm it up, baby. He blinked on me when he didn't even have uh, alt up. I wonder if he's going to go spectral this game. Or if he's just going to like respect the video idea and not. Because that's what he did on the afro game. I, I think he didn't build anti-heal because he was respecting the video idea. I told him he could. Like I said, I said, you are down to build whatever you want. I am going a healing build. So not going anti-heal would make the video probably better but i did tell him he could do whatever he wanted and i wouldn't judge him because like 
It's rough sometimes. This forbidden All right, so I had 57% crit chance. I bought Deathbringer, and now I have 100%. Technically, I have 115% because this is three stacks, and you get one stack. One stack, by the way, equals 10 power. So this is a 60 power item for me at the moment. And I have 115% crit chance, which is weird because it's like 30% plus 20%. That's 50 Plus this with two stacks is 39. So I should be at 89% crit chance, but instead I'm at like 120. Did I get it? I got it. I'm getting my rocks. Dude. My power. My power. By the way, you can see how bad lifesteal is right there. I'm hitting for over 400 with 15% lifesteal. And I'm getting 30 health back. I thought my blue was up. I'll show you again here. Hitting for 600 and I'm getting 48 HP. That is certainly not 15%. I don't know what percentage that is, but it's... That's bad. It's a bad percentage. Ow. But I want to see how much I lifesteal off him, actually. The difference. Like, that was 48, and it was half the damage. I literally doubled my lifesteal off of him. Oh. I want another crit item, just because I want to see the damage output. Oh, God. Ow. Well, see, now he might blink on me. Damn it. Uh, what are my options for crit? Blue boomerang or fail not? Boomerang is technically more crit chance because it drops the things. And every because that gives you 10% crit chance and you can pick up three of them, that will give me six stacks because you get a stack every 5% crit chance. And it's multiplied. Holy shit. Bladed boomerang plus devoted deathbringer is insane. That's an insane combination because one drop of bladed boomerang gives you three stacks after the multi the multiplier added to it, which means one drop of bladed boomerang gives you 30 power and 2% move speed. That's insane. That's an incredibly strong combination. Holy shit, dude. I got to go buy it. I got to make sure I'm right. Okay, I have eight stacks of Deathbringer right now, which means my Deathbringer is giving me 110 power. I have 339 power with four crit items. What the fuck? That's absurdly strong. I think you just sent a Raven this way. He did get Spectral. Which is good. I wanted him to. Uh, let's see. I want to see this boomerang stack. Yeah, it gives you three stacks. Every boomerang. Holy shit, I have 14 stacks of Deathbringer. Oh my god, man. Ouch. Dude, my damage. I have 400 power. I have 400 power. By the way, the physical power cap is 400. You can literally cap your physical power building all crit. What in the world? What in the world? Oh, and I got another kill, so I got another stack of Devoted. This needs a cap on it. The amount, like, how much power you get from this on Season 11 PTS needs to change. 
I think it needs a cap of like like 10. Which is a lot, by the way. But it needs the cap. I have I have 15 stacks of devoted Deathbringer right now. Or er, yeah. Oh my god. Crit is meta again. By the way, that was with Spectral Armor. That was with the anti-crit option. I still did 2,350 damage in eight auto attacks. With maximum attack speed, by the way. Max power, max attack speed with lifesteal. The only thing I'm really lacking in my build is penetration. But you, you get like... So you get 10% from Demon Blade. Okay, so you only have 10% ped. So that's the only downside. By going crit chance, you only have 10% pen. But he has double defense with Spectral, and I was hitting for 380 per auto. So even without pen against double defense with one of the defense items being anti-crit anyways, I'm still hitting him for a shit ton of damage. Absolutely absurd. Hunters are beyond Omega broken. Crit chance is beyond Omega broken. Unlock battle pass? Sure. Uh, price button changed. Price has been changed. Whatever. It's insane. Crit is meta. Hunters, as always, are going to be meta in duel. Ban them all. Ban them all. Ban crit. Get rid of devoted Deathbringer. If they buy it in your game, F6, because you're not going to beat them. I don't know what to tell you. That's busted. Bye.